This is Karita Mbagara and I am gl- uh, glad to be back to share with you God's word. Today we want to look at the power of prayer in the period between the amen and the answer when you're waiting for God to come through. I want to illustrate it by narrating a story of a man called Peter Richardson. Peter Richardson left home in 1820 to go and join the Navy. But within a short time, he had left the Navy and started sailing with uh, private uh, ships of merchants. In 1829, he was uh, sailing with a ship or working in a ship that was sailing from Sydney, Australia uh, to go to uh, just for their business. But as they are sailing, they encountered a storm that wrecked the, the, the ship and they sank, and uh, the whole crew was holding on to planks. But soon after, they were saved by a ship that was called Swiftshare. And uh, they, you know, that is three days later. But within five days, uh, Swiftshare also sank. This is the second time they are experiencing a problem in the sea, and they are sinking. But again, they were saved by a, a third ship. And the third ship that saved them was called Governor Ready. Uh, Not that the the ship that saved them matters. But anyway, as soon as they get to the Governor Ready, in three hours' time, the ship also, Governor Ready, caught fire. And it burned, and again, three three times. Uh, Now they have experienced shipwreck. And they are again saved. It is like God was on their side. Uh, And this time by a ship that was called Comet. After they have been saved by Comet, they are, you know, sailing. But as fate would have it, their fourth ship also sank. And they don't know what to do. But by God's grace, they are holding on uh, to planks of the ship uh, in the sea. And God sent, I would say God sent, another ship called Jupiter, and they were saved. And um, they continued with their journey. But unfortunately, even Jupiter sank. Five times they were uh, lost at sea, and not just lost, they have, they are sh- they have lost their ship. And uh, God is so gracious that for the next many days they are in the sea waiting and he sent a ship by the name of City of Leeds which was sailing the opposite direction it was going to Sydney where he was coming from and when he gets into that ship uh, this is now the sixth ship that they are sailing in uh, it didn't sink but uh, they, he met there the captain And they are told, you know, with the people that are saved with him, we need a person who comes from Yorkshire to go and speak to a woman that has been sailing with us. She has been very good to everyone. She knows every one of us, but she has become very, very sick. And she's in the point, she's at a point where we don't know whether she will live and die. But she has been crying out, oh God, have mercy on me and allow me to see my son. The woman was sailing because she had not seen her son for 15 years and was, uh, had been told that the son was in Australia and that's why she was sailing with this ship to go to Australia. As she takes, I mean, as, uh, as the, the captain is asking now, is there a person who can pretend to be a son of this woman and who comes from Yorkshire, uh, it happens that uh, uh, Peter... Uh, Richardson uh, came from that place and he decided that he can help. He will go and pretend to be the woman's son and uh, when uh, she asks for the son, she will say, I am the son, so that she can die in peace. Now, they go down where the woman is lying in subconscious state and when he gets there, the surprise of surprises, it's his own mother, Sarah Richardson. Now, why have I said this story? It's because of the prayer of Sarah Richardson. I believe it is because of her prayer 
that Peter had been saved five times from shipwrecks. And that tells me that prayer is powerful and will work even far away from where you are. Peter was being saved far away from where the mother was because when you pray to God, God is able to work far away from where you are. Prayer is not limited to where you are. Secondly, it is that God is at work when you pray. When uh, Sarah was praying and saying, Lord, have mercy on me and let me see my son, maybe in her mind she wanted to be healed so that she is sure she will go to Australia. But what was happening, God was working miracles in a distant place, also keeping her uh, secure, I mean uh, alive, so that she would see her son. And that just shows you the power of prayer. In the period that she was waiting to see the fulfillment of her prayer, she was talking to God. I know that there are some of us that are experiencing similar situations. You are praying about a difficult situation and you think that God is not working. Maybe like Sarah was thinking. But God may be working far and wide to meet your need. And I want you to keep on holding and, and trusting God to come through for you. Be confident that God will answer your prayers. Prayers are powerful. God bless you as you think about what we have said. In Jesus' name. See you next time.